Hello, I am Tom Phillips, Director of Police at Bloomsburg University. I would like to share vital information with you that may keep you safe in the event of an active shooter incident, which can occur anywhere and includes, but is not limited to schools, workplace, shopping centers, and entertainment venues. The primary responsibility of university police is to safeguard the lives and property of members of the campus community. In an effort to keep you informed of safety precautions, I would like to show you a short life safety video that addresses how you should react if an active shooter situation occurs. An active shooter is an individual who is actively engaged in killing or attempting to kill people in a confined and populated area. In most cases, active shooters use firearms and there are no patterns or methods to their selection of victims. An active shooter situation is unpredictable and evolves quickly. Everyone should learn how to help prevent, prepare, and react to these incidents both before and after police arrive on the scene. The six minute video you are about to see depicts a lifelike scenario and contains valuable information that may save your life. It may feel like just another day at the office, but occasionally, life feels more like an action movie than reality. The authorities are working hard to protect you and to protect our public spaces. Sometimes, bad people do bad things. Their motivations are different. The warning signs may vary, but the devastating effects are the same. And unfortunately, you need to be prepared for the worst. If you were ever to find yourself in the middle of an active shooter event, your survival may depend on whether or not you have a plan. The plan doesn't have to be complicated. There are three things you could do that make a difference. Run, hide, fight. First and foremost, if you can get out, do. Always try and escape or evacuate even when others insist on staying. Encourage others to leave with you, but don't let them slow you down with indecision. Remember what's important, you, not your stuff. Leave your belongings behind and try to find a way to get out safely. Trying to get yourself out of harm's way needs to be your number one priority. Once you are out of the line of fire, try to prevent others from walking into the danger zone and call 911. If you can't get out safely, you need to find a place to hide. Act quickly and quietly. Try to secure your hiding place the best you can. Turn out lights, and if possible, remember to lock doors. Silence your ringer and vibration mode on your cell phone. And if you can't find a safe room or closet, try to conceal yourself behind large objects that may protect you. Do your best to remain quiet and calm. Oh 
as a last resort if your life is at risk. Whether you are alone or working together as a group, fight. Act with aggression. Improvise weapons. Disarm him. And commit to taking the shooter down, no matter what. Try to be aware of your environment. Always have an exit plan. Know that in an incident like this, victims are generally chosen randomly. The event is unpredictable and may evolve quickly. The first responders on the scene are not there to evacuate or tend to the injured. They are well trained and are there to stop the shooter. Your actions can make a difference for your safety and survival. Be aware and be prepared. And if you find yourself facing an active shooter, there are three key things you need to remember to survive. Run, hide, fight. <laughs> 